Hello, my name is Azul Oliveira, and this is the second part of the video on how to add a, a nice photo gallery, a nice photo presentation to your .dot website. And so this is the second part and final one. So just carry on from the first video. Here we have our nice presentation. Uh, we have done a couple of, uh, we have changed a couple of settings. Now let's explore a little bit more uh, the settings of the uh, Ultramedia Gallery. For instance, let's change the color of the background of the uh, presentation to white, so it will uh, blend well with the site's background. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to the appearance, and we're going to change the album background color. And to make it white, let's put it FF, FF, FF. Let's click Update. Okay, so now the background is all white, so it will, it's blending well with the site's background. I can also, if I want, I can also change the background of the thumbnail bar by going again to Appearance. And the thumbnail bar... The thumbnail bar can be changed, the color, background color can be changed under background color. So I set it to white. If we click update, so the background color of the thumbnail bar is also white now. So let's just go through a couple of more settings uh, under the appearance. So basically we have options to set up the colors of each and every single aspect of the, of the presentation. As you can see here by different uh, color settings. You can also disable ratings so uh, the stars will not show up again if I don't want anybody to rate that I can just remove it uh, I also can set down here the different transition uh, effects that we can have from one picture to the other one let's uh, try to use a curtain let's click update so how it looks like again so the, you can see that the transition has uh, transition effect has changed. Let's go back to appearance and go top down. So again, I, I just mentioned the I'd say the the most uh, relevant uh, settings. You can explore that by yourself. But uh, you can again show the control bar, show the thumbnail bar, show the progress slider, show which controls you want to, to display. Um, You can also specify the, uh, a watermark, so you can mark each image with, uh, with let's say, your logo, so people cannot easily take the, the image. Um, what else? Now, some some interesting settings down here. Uh, you can you can say at the end of each album what will happen when it reaches the, the last image. You can say that it goes to the first one again to the next album. It may, you may want it to stop. Uh, also, what will happen when a, a photo is clicked? I may want to open and launch a, a light box, a light light box view. Uh, that that's quite interesting. Let's let's just select it and click update. Let's have a look. So presentation is going here. If I click, so the light box presentation will come up, and the 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 photo title comes at the bottom so that's that's quite interesting because if if the if you have an image in a higher resolution you can use the the thumbnails and the small presentation to show it quickly but then if the person wants uh, more details they can click and they can see more details about the the image let's go back to the set to appearance again here you can also change how fast or slow you want the transition you want image, each image to show up. Uh, for instance, I here the default value is, is five seconds. I can just put it as let's say two seconds. Click update. Now the image should change quite fast. Yep. Again, it's a very uh, featured rich module. It has been uh, in dot that took marketplace for for quite some years right now. So uh, let's just 
go through a couple of more settings that I find very, very useful. Let's click now, instead of appearance, let's go to settings. Here, you under presentations, you can see that there are quite a few different presentations to be used with this module. Uh, the default presentation that comes with the basic version is the UMG Classic, which is the one that we are seeing. One image after the other one, it just keeps rotating. Uh, there's also the headline that comes with, uh, with the, the standard version. But then there are some additional presentations that will only come with the professional version. So let's go here for a second in Snow Covert, and I want to show you. So, again, the standard version will only come with three different types of presentations, but the professional version comes with about 16 different types of presentations. So keep that in mind. This is basically the difference from the standard to the professional edition. Let's have a look at uh, a different uh, presentation. Let's say the, uh, the 3D carousel. There, click update. And you see that the presentation changed quite a lot. I can click. And I can go back. I can rotate. I can use uh, bigger images instead of those small ones. Let's check another presentation. Let's say the random positioning. So again, just a different present type of presentation. But once again, those nice looking presentations, they will only come with the professional edition. Let's check another one. Let's try a virtual tool. Again, just another type of presentation. Lots of different types. And again, if you want to present uh, images, pictures in your website, this is this module will definitely do it. I mean, there is very little that you cannot do with it. Another good aspect of this module is the documentation. If you go to their uh, to this module's website, you can see that you can download the PDFs for version five, version six. It's a quite quite a comprehensive. Uh, user guide, so again, well documented, featured rich module. We didn't even, I'm sure that we didn't even cover 20% of what this module can do. But again, the idea of this presentation is just to give you an overview, the thumbs up for, for, for this module. And again, if you need a nice looking presentation to your website, you can, you should definitely check this out. Thank you. Oh, before I go, um, I will post in the video uh, blog post the URL for the Ultramedia Gallery and for the documentation as well, so you can use that as, as a reference, okay? Thank you.